So you each have those containers because each of you is going to have a role in, in this activity. Right? And we're gonna go through the history of the Potomac River and examine, basically, answer the question of who polluted it? Who made it the condition it's in right now? For thousands of years, people have lived on the banks of the Potomac River. They hunted in the forest, harvested fruits from the wetlands, and caught fish in the river. Imagine that this container of water in front of you was taken from the Potomac River by Native Americans about 500 years ago. How does it look to you? How does it look to you? Clear? Looks good? Does this look like water you might drink? From here, yes. Swim? Yeah. Eat fish from it? One of the first explorers to visit the river kept a journal of his discoveries. He wrote about the Native American villages, the tributaries of Sweetwater, and seeing so many fish that he and his crew tried to scoop them out with a frying pan. Soon, colonists began to arrive. They found fertile land for farming, forest teeming with wildlife, and a river that provided ample food and water. It was an outstanding environment for settlement, and the col colonists prospered. How do you think the colonists used the river? They polluted, that's how they used the river? <laughs> Maybe they used it to wash their clothes? Drink. Drink? Bathe? You think they used it to, to get water for their crops? Do you think they used it to get food in terms of fish? Do we use the rivers in the same way today? Sort of. Do you have an example? Okay. Do we get drinking water from the river? Okay. But we don't bathe in the river. Do we swim in it? Do we go? Do we boat in the river? The river has changed a lot since it's first since it was first explored. This is the story of those changes. Listen for the name of the character printed on your canister. When you hear your character name, open the canister and dump its contents into the river. Ready to go? Years went by and occasional storms drenched the area. High winds whipped through trees and blew leaves into the water. Gradually, the city of Washington, D.C. grew on the banks of the Potomac. Developers cleared wetlands and forests to build houses and businesses. Rains washed loose soil from construction sites into the river. Construction sites. So this is a, a thoroughfare. It'd be kind of nice. If so you no, you can take the containers except the bag and put them in the sink back here, and I'll rinse them out. Did you do seven periods? Did I do this one? Like this activity every period? No, only environmental science. Don't you have like a little class stuff? So third period did it. They did do it? Okay. Is this water safe to drink? Oh, no. Maybe. No. I wouldn't drink 
What makes water safe to drink? Clean, but not dirty. Define clean. Not a definite. Contaminated with what? With dirt. With dirt? Anything but water. That's right. If it has those, that's not contaminated. Are there things in the water that you drink? Yes. Yeah. I mean, is yeah, but don't But if you can't see it, yes. So, Bradley, what? That. Yes. So I want you all to keep thinking about what. What is the definition of safe drinking water? Not answering it now, versus something being clean, right? Because there, there is a difference. Would you swim in this water? Yeah. 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 Is, is the water safe for wildlife? Luke, put your phone away. Uh, what, would you yeah, just please. I mean, they're probably. Have you been paying attention? Yeah, just didn't see all of them. So right now we have leaves and dirt. It's I wouldn't drink it, but if I had to, it would So let's continue. At first, the city was small. Upstream, farmers planted crops to feed the city's growing population. Some of these crops grew right up against the banks of the river. I will tell you the ingredients later. I promise you, it is all stuff, for the most part, uh, you're not going to find leaves in your kitchen, but most of this stuff you will have to be able to find in your kitchen. Some of the crops grew right up against the banks of the river, and fertilizer washed off the land into the water. Other farmers kept pigs and other animals in their barnyards. Barnyards. As rainwater drained okay, out of the barnyard, it carried yeah. some of the manure into a little creek behind the farm. The creek flows into the river. It is not manure. It is not manure. It is not soy sauce either, but good guess. What is it? Alex, no, what is that? It's coffee. <laughs> and I have I have to applaud Alex for the dramatic pour. Alex? Alec, I'm sorry. My bad. But I do apologize. Alec. Alec. Would you drink the water now? No. Would you swim in it? If it was coffee, no. It was just coffee. Would you go boating in it? Yes. Yes, I would. Yeah. Is it safe for wildlife? No. No. Unless they like coffee. As the city grew, more and more people began to move to the nearby countryside. These rural houses are not connected to the city sewer system. Waste water from these houses flows into septic tanks under, underground. One, one homeowner has not maintained the septic tank and poorly treated sewage seeped into the river. To meet the electricity needs of the city, area officials decided that they would need to generate more power. Far upstream, a coal mine was dug. Rainwater drained down from the mine shaft and soaked the piles of waste and scraps from the mining. This made rainwater become acidic, sort of like strong vinegar. Then the acid water trickled off the banks and back into the river. 
Did he really? To burn the coal and produce the power, an electric power plant was built along the river. Gases coming out of the smokestacks combined with moisture in the air to form acids. The pollution falls back to earth as acid hey, rain get it? or smog. Hey, get it? Is that oil? It's olive oil or vinegar. Sorry. Is it vinegar? What you say? Would you drink this water now? We want to drink it from the weekend. Would you go swimming in it? No. Would you go boating in it? Yes. Would you canoe in this water? No. Can I go I'm hungry. How could you determine if this water is safe for wildlife? Can I eat it? Just look at it. It's dirty. Yeah, that's you. But it's dirty. It's dirty. So, I ordered myself half every day today. You wouldn't drink it. And they gave me the wrong meal. Like, I was just heartbroken. But did you grow up? Do animals live in water we won't drink? I mean, yeah. Did you drink water? Yeah. Now. Now, Washington, D.C. is one of the largest metropolitan areas. I'll wait. Now, Washington, D.C. is one of the largest metropolitan areas in the country. Traffic congestion is a big problem for commuters who drive their cars to and from work. Smell, what is it? It's vinegar, it's so nasty. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, relax it. Commuters who drive their cars to and from work. Car exhaust fumes, just like power plant fumes, cause acid rain. If a car is not kept in good repair, it might also leak oil or other fluids, which will be washed off the pavement and into the river with the next rain. And how do the residents of the city and suburbs spend their time? In one neighborhood, lots of gardeners are out working in their yards. Many of them are using weed killers and insect sprays to keep the lawns pretty. The next rain will wash these poisons into the little creek nearby and then into the river. What is this? Does it smell like anything? No, it doesn't. Can we get all this stuff? Oh, yeah, it's like paint. That's like yeah, a tube yeah. to, yeah. to be food coloring. Um, <laughs> I will if you will. <laughs> Nobody's no, taking it. I think it's not. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, no. yeah. That looks so good. Is that good enough for you, Mr. Miller? Yeah, you can throw that. All right. Looks like mint ice cream. Good, no, good, it good. That looks like, it it looks like, no, that looks like acrylic paint. It kind of looks like jello before it kind of solidified. I thought that was jello. But that's acrylic paint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and farther, excuse me, one father is teaching his daughter how to change the antifreeze in their truck. They pour out the used antifreeze into the driveway. Antifreeze is sweet tasting and can poison animals that lick it. It can also get into the nearby creek and poison fish. Okay, get it. Nearby, a boy washes the family car. The soapy water rushes down the driveway into the storm drain. The storm drain empties into the river. The grease and the grime from on a car can contain asphalt from the roads, asbestos from brakes, rubber particles from the tires, toxic metals, and rust. If the boy had gone to a local car wash, the water would have been treated before it was returned to the river. Next door, a family is cleaning out their garage. They find an old rusty can with a tattered skull and crossbones label stuck on it. What could it be? It looks dangerous and they want to get rid of it before someone gets hurt. But how? Junior gets an idea. Let's pour it down the drain out by the curb. So the mysterious liquid 
goes down the storm drain. The poison is out of sight, but it is headed for the river. <laughs> On nice days, many people head down to the river. Some zoom up and down the river on motorboats and don't notice that a little engine oil leaks into the water. Motorboats, motorboats. A group of friends have spread blankets on the shore. A group of friends have spread blankets on the floor for a beach party. Lots of families are picnicking in the parks too. Some of the people have left trash on the shore. With the next storm, that trash will wash into the river. On the shore, a person fishing snags a hook on a log and breaks off the nylon fishing line. Who has the fishing line? Would you, would you consider this water safe? Yes. No. I think the fishing line kind of changed my mind. I feel like you're trying to throw us off. What? 